Hey everybody, welcome back to this old trek. It's a beautiful Sunday afternoon here in upstate New York. Just a couple little snow banks left if you were wondering what the situation was. I'm, uh, I'm riding my 83 Big Red. I just did some dock repair. I think I might sink this thing in a mud hole now. That's what these were built for. And if you're not doing that with your Honda three-wheelers, all the Honda engineers that designed those, if they're still alive, they are so upset with you. That's the only way to really, to really do justice to all the effort that they put into designing those machines. But that's all I'll say about that. Um, trying to figure out what I want to do today. My gimbal doesn't want to keep my uh, screen level. But let's show you what I'm working with. I was actually using this thing for some work today. Doesn't have an original front tire on it, but other than that, this thing's pretty nice. We'll tell the story on that later. Got the shop door open. You know what I was thinking about? I was thinking about getting this 84 TRX 200 out of here. And I uh, hate to show you my mess. Uh, I'm not... I'm not perfect, guys. But I've got some things to go on that, and that needs a carb clean. I think I might I might do that and get that uh, road ready. I put a new battery in it last winter, and since I did that, uh, I started it, started right up, but it it's peeing out gas out the overflow in the carburetor, so I'm sure it's a stuck, stuck bowl or a needle valve that is gummed up, but... I've got to clean these out of the way, get these out of the way here, and then I'll have room to bring that in. The uh, the old 88 Big Red has made its way back into the shop. Oh yeah. This 110's going to a new home, along with the 185 I got in the barn find. This thing's up for sale. I've had a bunch of interest, but nobody has arrived yet to take a look. And this guy's not going anywhere. There's one of you guys on there that comments, always trying to figure out when I'm going to sell it to you. I can't remember your name right now, but not for sale. Maybe down the road. Probably not, though. Don't, don't get too excited. So let's get some things moved around. Okay, 1984 TRX200. Let's look at this thing. If you watched my British Invasion video the uh, the day I brought home... Oh, actually, hey, they meet again. My 88 Big Red. So this had been imported from England. My good friend now but at the time i was just meeting him uh matthew jones matt jones from jolly old england sold me this I had to pick up this box separate but the day i went to pick up the 88 big red this popped up for sale um 
my buddy and very good friend Chad Bennett, uh, who is legit, as we know, told me about this, so I couldn't help myself and had to go pick it up. It was a really good deal. So if you didn't know, this is Honda's first four-wheeler, so 84. What do we have out there at the time? ATC 70s were out there, 110, 125M, um, 200X, ATC 200 ES Big Red. Uh, abroad, now we know the you know non-existent and never heard of ATC 200E existed in foreign countries, not here in the U.S. What else did we have in 84? Jeez, I guess a 250R. Maybe that's it. Probably forgetting something. But if we reference the old Honda book here, let's see if we can find ATVs quickly, 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 200cc. So definitely not breaking any uh, displacement records with this. That's the 250... But this is where they're dipping their toe in the pool. Did I go past it? They are, yes. So upper cowl, tank cover is black. Stripe is white. Actually, stripe is silver. Stripe is white. Reverse gear, shaft drive, electric and recoil starter. 192 cc overhead cam, single. Five speed dual range, so it's got the high low. Automatic clutch, first TRX four-wheeler model. Right there, how about that? So this is where it starts, where three-wheelers are starting to catch some heat. Honda makes this. So unlike its three-wheeler counterpart, the 84 Big Red, this thing has rear suspension. So the rear setup, though it looks the same at first, has suspension. One year only machine at uh, 85, they went on to have the 250 model, which that stayed around for three years, 85, 86, 87. Look at, look at tricycle guy. Look what I can do. Nothing in the trunk, no junk. That's kind of banged up. If you, uh, if you have one of these in nice shape, let me know. I'd, I'd love to put a nicer one on there. This machine is in overall... Very nice condition, original tires. Crack-free fenders. One thing that I did notice that was missing, have one there, we don't have that flap. But I have since found on the Ebays, what did I do with it? I had it sitting out here. I'm trying to keep myself organized too. Right here. So I just got to straighten that out a little bit. It's got a little wonk to it. I'm going to put that on. And uh, this box has has something I got to get out. Let's see what's in there. Okay, here's that piece we're going to put on the front. Put it in the vise just a little bit to straighten it out. So that's all right. Let's see. Refrigerate. I have a feeling that's not right. Well, look at that. This is a Honda line option for this machine. So that's a push bar that goes on the front of this. So this thing's got a, a bend right there. I don't know if these are plow brackets, but they're not factory. So we're going to take these off. We're going to take this off. And in its place, put that wider one. And then tuck that flap in underneath while we're at it. And while we're at it, we're going to pull the carb and give this thing just a little bit of a carb clean. Carb's tucked under there, so... I guess uh, without further ado, we'll get after it.
Well, hold on, because before we get too far along, I wanted to tell and explain why I have this in my collection. Uh, you know, each one's got a special spot. This particular model, uh, my dad had one of these when it was brand new. He bought this in a 1984 Big Red from our local dealership, Herba Honda, back in uh, 84. This is the actual brochure that he got, and it's pretty neat to look through. You see it's got the stock front grill there, we'll call it. And so this was revolutionary at its time, you know, this was the first four-wheeler, so... New concept in four-wheel technology. It's showing the drivetrain there. I'm going to spare you from reading all this, but you can pause that and read it if you'd like. Rear suspension. Looks like uh, hydraulic disc brakes. That guy's got the the Dicko trailer. If you got any one of those and you want to part ways with it, let me know. I'd be very interested. The OEM tires. Work the job site. So this has those uh, tabs that would also hold the EM500 trailer. Trailer. Generator. Sorry. Go fishing. With your Honda Line helmet. That's what we're going to be putting on today. Do not have the mud flaps. I do have one of those, actually. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll put one on. Look at this, the Speedo odometer kit. That'd be pretty neat. One thing they don't list here, optional equipment. One thing they don't list here, I'll tell you in a second. But it looks like this thing was going to be $2,100 for my dad back in 84. I paid less for this one, I'll tell you that. But one thing they don't list there is these guys. These are the rubber uh, rubber steps that go on your foot peg for the TRX 200, January 84. Got those from my buddy Alex Dodge up in Canada, and I'm going to put those on this. I don't think they're super duper sexy or anything, but... Why not? Uh, but yeah, so this is the, the machine that got me riding four-wheelers uh, alongside the Big Red. I realized at some point that the Big Red was a little faster, probably because of weight. So I gravitated towards the Big Red. And my dad let me trade this for... Well, he let me sell this and use the money to buy a uh, TRX 250X that... Got me into the sport Honda ATV scene. And then eventually the 250X got upgraded to a 350X. So now we can get to uh, installing and doing the work that we need to. Enjoy. And just like that, whoa, as I trip over the 88 Big Red, we are done. So cleaned out my carburetor, which wasn't dirty. Um, but I did put in a new needle valve and a new pilot jet, uh, idle jet rather, um, a bowl gasket, just a couple parts I cherry picked out of a kit that I got from my buddy Curdy at 223 Cycles. So make sure you go see Curdy for all your tricycle and Honda and other brand carb needs. He sells awesome kits, keister kits shindy kits and is a wealth of knowledge and as you'll notice the honda line guard is installed these were a pain in the butt to get off somebody put non honda bolts in from the the one side because the honda bolts were probably the wrong length didn't fit anymore but i happen to have a couple that worked that were fork bolts off of something Hold the top triple plate down onto a set of forks for a smaller machine. This came off. 
couple dings and dents. This, I learned, has a stud, or is supposed to have a stud, in from the bottom. So that had sheared off completely. I had to drill it out and retap it. And I have threaded in a 10 millimeter up from the bottom. But now I've got the mud flaps. I guess it's just my angle. Makes them look funny, but that looks nice. Looks beefy. I'm going to go take it for a little ride. Sink it in a mud hole, right? Here we go. brakes going on okay identifying problems as we go and that one tire apparently gets soft so I'm gonna grab a little, a little air for that wait right here a second okay we're back We're gonna wrap her up here for the day. Looks great. This thing is not a uh, a museum piece, but it is very nice and very original. The seat has some stuff on it. I don't know what's on it. I tried some simple green. I tried some 303 Aerospace. Nothing was quite getting it. I'm hearing some sizzling. Ooh, I'm hearing a leak. Where? Where are you? Are you on the bead? It's right there. That's the guy right there. He's right at the O in Atsu, so I'll find him. Stick a plug in him, because these are original tires. You never see these with original tires. Looking pretty good, so before my tire gets soft, I'm going to return this to the shop. mention it because this is the four-wheeler that I had when I was a little kid so that's why uh, that's why I have it you might think why does tricycle extraordinaire uh, you know this old trike have a four-wheeled version here all the four-wheelers I have are 
special to me in one way or another. So that's what gets them their entry fee. He found it. He found the air leak. So we're going to put a plug in. So thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe. Don't miss out. And we'll, uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks again.